Good morning, everybody. This is Trudy with TLC. I thought we'd do something a little different today. And I'm going to show you the process of taking newborn pictures. And if you just count the clicks, <laughs> you'll see how big of a chore this is. As they spin in circles. And this is, this is my favorite photography is, is the newborns. And you'll see it's still patient finding. Um, if you do the number of clicks, just count the number of clicks. Oh shoot. Uh, and there's still, um, you'll see how this is just one puppy. Just trying to get them to get a side view with their the full face. And this is why uh, we try to do pictures every two weeks. Some breeders are amazing and they do it every, <laughs> every week. Um, we do it every two weeks, but this is why. We'll probably take two, 300 pictures um, just to get two or three. And literally some puppies, we go back and look at them and they are so, this one's just determined not to look at me today. There he is. Uh, and then you'll get an amazing picture. Sometimes you'll just get an absolute amazing picture like that was there. But um, this is why sometimes families say, oh, can you, can I get a quick picture of my puppy? It's not quick. <laughs> it's not quick. It's time consuming. And uh, I try to do them in order. Let me see, where's black? Uh, this is Phaedra's litter of standard, burnt, not Phaedra's, I'm sorry, let me start over again. That is, this is Oso's litter of standard, Bernadoodles, and as you see, we got a rainbow, a rainbow of colors. This is Black Boy. He is a brown phantom. Uh, we've got several of them that look like their dad, which is a brown and white phantom poodle. He's, uh, you see, this is, you'll probably be dizzy by the time I just do even do two, two puppies. He's, <laughs> Just pulled down over you. Does that work? Is that better? Just want that down over you? Okay. We usually have a heat bed underneath there. Uh, right now, right now, I have it underneath them in their little containers to keep them all warm. He's looking for mama. I even made sure they ate before they came out. Elsewise, they're digging like this. They're like, where's our mama? Where's our food? at newborn age like this. They're like, where's our food? And we like to do an overhead picture, especially when they have different markings than just like a solid color. So we try to do this. Yes, is that all better? Is that all better? Oh my goodness, gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. And as you see, that's just two puppies. Black, who's after black? Peach, where are you, peach? Peach, 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 peachy. Peachy, 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 peachy. I try to do my color of what they are on the website just so it makes it easier um, for me to... Why does the... Everybody that I want is in the back. There you are, Peach. Black Peach is a beautiful black tri. Um, as you can see her. She's got the beautiful black tri markings. She's... There's three of them. I think there's like four of the chocolate phantoms. Um, and there is two chocolate and white and one black and white. So it's like Christmas day with this litter. They're just absolutely gorgeous. These guys are F1Bs, so they bring in a little bit more of the, the markings from the dad. Um, oh goodness gracious, buddy. Sweetheart, where you going? Just not going to turn for me, are you? No. <laughs> but yeah, I just, I know this is one of those things that people say, oh, can you just shoot a quick? And this is the easy ones. I'll let you know, this, this age is the easiest one. <laughs> the 
six week is about the most frustrating. That's probably where I lose my patience is the six week ones. Because we are, we are, we're trying, we do hold a standard for our puppies. We teach them to sit and, and you know, we hold a standard. And, and if somebody is just not getting it, <laughs> they're just being a little more um, than others. And it's like, okay, buddy, you got to walk the line. Okay, where are we at? Green and yellow. You guys left. Here is green. This is green. It's beautiful. And we teach them to sit and sit still every day when we weigh them. So um, there's all kinds of opportunities for training at this young of an age. Um, well, not this young of an age, but um, when they're four, five weeks old, six weeks, seven weeks old, you know, it's a constant training. Yes, they need to they need to know not to jump up on you. Yes, they need to know how to sit when you say sit. And uh, you you set the standard for your puppies. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. I'm sure that was probably enough of craziness that you got to watch, but figured I'd check in with y'all today. This, These guys will have some availability. We'll know once I send out, um, send out announcements to the people that are on the waiting list. We do ask your prayers and patience. Some days are um, more crazy than others. This morning, Maria woke up sick, so we're, we're battling that and pray that she doesn't end up at the hospital. But um, that's our special needs 18-year-old. We think it was just a medicine adjustment. We're hoping. I'll go back up and check her here. She's with her nurse. But we had that scare for about a half hour today to an hour. Did our good old COVID test. She's negative, so we're just... Uh, I was praying it was just some medicine that we adjusted about four, 48 hours ago. Still some medicines, added medicines that we didn't, we didn't have before she got COVID last January. So, but we're always in the background. Please remember patience and with anybody in life, you just, we never know what each other is going through each day. And we ask your prayers and cover them and... We will continue to pray for all of you out there. Thank you and have a blessed day.